Hi guys and welcome back to another video and since you have already read the title, you know what you have come for. So in this video, we are going to talk about PUBG PC Lite and another way to download it on your computer and run it. So there are a lot of uh, tutorials available on the internet uh, that shows you how to download PUBG PC Lite but most of them are using a paid VPN service like NordVPN or a VPN service that requires you to put your credit card information which probably you don't have that's why you're watching this video and uh, so don't worry I'm gonna show you a video I'm gonna show you a way to download PUBG PC Lite on your computer through a free VPN service that works really well and uh, it lets you connect to Thai servers and you can download it uh, through the Thai servers so a word on PUBG PC before we start this video I absolutely love that developers have brought this version for uh, uh, low powered computers this lets you enjoy the thrill of PUBG PC on your computer uh, on your uh, low powered computer basically and uh, what this game is like uh, this game is basically PUBG PC PUBG PC mechanics, PUBG PC recoil, everything is from PUBG PC only the map has been upgraded from PUBG mobile it's got high resolution textures and the animations are better and overall this gun, game runs great uh, if you have a low powered machine that cannot run Tencent Gaming Buddy uh, you should try this version and also uh, uh, if you have a decently powered machine you can which cannot run PUBG PC but uh, if you have a decently powered machine which cannot run PUBG PC, you can definitely download this version and try it out because this version will run great at ultra settings. Uh, I mean, I have tried it and it runs flawlessly. 1080 Ti, I have a laptop with 1080 Ti and it has running in this game at 60 FPS as you can see uh, at ultra settings, anti aliasing ultra, everything ultra. And personally, what I think is that most people, those who are playing uh, Tencent Gaming Buddy, I mean, playing PUBG Mobile on emulator, should shift to this version because this is the one that you should play. Guys, um, this game is like this. This this one is really challenging. Uh, you need to really put effort into the game to learn the recoil control and everything, the movements and all. There's no auto pickup. There's no aim assist. Nothing, and uh, you will really enjoy this challenge. And uh, those who are playing on computers, uh, this game is much better suited for your mouse and keyboard movements. So you should definitely try this one. Plus, one benefit that you'll uh, get if you're already right now and start playing it because this game is not launched globally yet. It will launch probably in August, and by the time it you you'll be pretty good at this game if you start playing it from today and uh, that's going to be a good advantage all right guys so without any further ado let's take a look at how to download pubg pc lite on your computer and play it all right let's get started so first of all guys what you need to do is you need to go to your settings and change the time zone so search for changing the time zone and then go to your time zone settings and change into backcock you can see it's down below it says Bangkok Jakarta you select it and then close it next what you need to do is go to chrome browser and go to this link light.pubg.com so I'm uh, reloading it once again it's in Thai language it it will automatically translate and client and up of there you can say apply for ID you hit it and it will open the new tab uh, it will say uh, pubg account creation you enter your email ID your password date of birth etc accept the license and hit uh, create my account so once you hit create my account it will send an email to your um, uh, email the email you provided so you can uh, then uh, open uh, your email and see there the email has arrived so you double open it and then it says uh, register you hit register and then just wait it and it will automatically register yourself so now you have almost uh, done the all everything so your account has been created what you need to do is download the client so you can see it says the uh, minimum specifications and the recommended system specifications so download it and save it so I have already downloaded it so I'm not downloading it once again so let me cancel this process next go to your downloads and find where you downloaded the client uh, there you go show in folder so you can see there is the client now the next step that you need to do is first of all you need to connect to a VPN service so let me close these tabs and show you which VPN to go the link is down below so you go to this link soft ether VPN you and hit enter it will take you to this website and you download soft ether vpn client first one so you hit the uh, hit it and last me download it so again i have downloaded so i'm not downloading it once again let me cancel this process and then once again you go to your downloads and search for the uh, download that you did that vpn so there you go show in folder and it's pretty easy what you need to do is you need to extract the files so extract it there you go let me hit a yes to all because i had already excited so it's asking me again and uh, then you go to your uh, there you go there's a folder that you extracted hit enter and there you can see a lot of files so you need to hit this file this installation file application file 
so it will ask you to install it hit the next button it's quite easy hit yes yes just continue everything it will automatically do what you need to what it needs to what needs to be done hit accept agree to the license and then hit next it will automatically install it There you go, it has installed and now what you need to do is, you need to open it, wait for it, there you go, um, there is Softita VPN, open it and uh, in the second option, uh, you can see, you hit the second option and it will show, show you a lot of uh, servers, avail available servers, hit the region icon and then um, scroll down to find Thailand, so once you get Thailand, if there are several servers you uh, try each of them and whichever connects you connect it so let's connect to this one you double clicked it and you can see it says it's connected okay and uh, another thing that uh, you can do is if you have not in some if you have not understood how to install soft ether vpn uh, because uh, i have already installed in my computer so it didn't ask me for a couple of things which they will ask it to you so just uh, don't freak out i'll link a video, video down below so that you can learn how to install uh, software that VPN it is quite easy just you know, just hit that next button all the time because I couldn't show it to you because I already installed it in my computer and it was not asking for permissions once again it will create a virtual adapter and whatnot just you just install you just need to hit the yes 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 and go further okay guys now we're almost done now go to your downloads and open that uh, client that you downloaded the PUBG client open it hit next do what I'm doing and in this procedure the uh, step it will ask you where you want to download the uh, the folder that you want to download it the drive so you put which drive you want to download it and hit next button it's not asking me because I've already entered uh, it once again as you can see it says uh, D games so I installed it in D games you can install wherever you want so yeah it's now downloaded I mean the client has been installed so guys now you need to launch this uh, client um, after you launch it you need to wait a little bit um, make sure your VPN is always connected and you will see a small window open up and you need to enter your email address and password that the uh, that account you created there you go enter it and after entering it hit that yellow button and it will take you to this client and in this client then you can you can download the game uh, as you can see it's already downloaded so it's not asking me to download it again but in your case you need to hit that orange button and it will download it over here. so if you are able to download this game fully then you have no problem you can hit this orange button and the game will launch but in case you are not able to download it because of slow server then you can follow the next steps that i'm saying So guys, this is the part which which I have done uh, something interesting for you guys. So when I downloaded PUBG PC Lite on my computer through the VPN service, I had to reconnect, connect, reconnect, connect, uninstall, install a lot of times, and I had to go through a lot of uh, problems to install it because uh, most of the uh, servers were not strong enough. It was quite weak, and uh, luckily after a lot of tries, I was able to download it. So it might be the same case for you. Like you have to give it a lot of tries. Like it may install, it may not install, it may give you errors and stuff like that. VPN which might get disconnected and all. So what I did was uh, I downloaded all my files and uploaded it to my Mega Cloud account. And uh, I'll be posting the link down below. And what you can do is you can download all the files from that account and you can just replace the files that you downloaded. Like if you download it into D drive and uh, the folder from GPC, right? Uh, you downloaded it and only downloaded like some files. What you can do is you can download it from a mega account and then you can directly put it into that uh, uh, folder and replace all the files and your launcher should detect it as uh, the downloads download has been complete and you can just turn it on from there. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you the steps down below. So guys, if you're unable to download it because of slow speed, don't worry, just go to this link. Uh, I've given it down below. It's the link to my cloud uh, for this file. You can see PUBG Lite.zip. What you need to do is just download this file. It's very easy. Download it and save it wherever you want. Uh, and there you go you can see this file has been downloaded it says pubglight.zip and what you need to do is very easy you need to just extract this file wherever you want once again hit extract and it will extract all the uh, files that are inside it and don't worry it's quite easy 
and there you go it's extracting after it has been extracted you can see there is a folder name pubg pc light uh there where is it okay there you go so this you can see all the files are here let's hit the properties this is something two point something gigabytes it's very easy you just need to hit the right button right click um you, you hit right click on this one and copy and copy it to the folder to the drive where you are installing the game like i am installing it inside d drive inside the games folder there you can see pubg pc lite so what you need to do is just right click and paste it over here and replace all the files over here so once you do that what will happen is that that launcher that you are the that you are using to download the whole game will detect that the game has been downloaded and what you need to do is turn off your computer and turn it on again connect your vpn service and then open this launcher and it will automatically see that it has down it has been downloaded so what you need to do is hit that uh, big orange button and the game will launch so let me hit it there you go i've hit the button and now you can see it's loading and in a in a minute uh, not in a minute it'll launch That's it for this video guys, I hope you liked it and uh, I hope you have a good time enjoying PUBG PC, you get the taste of PUBG PC, a uh, lot of people uh, couldn't buy the Steam version, it was expensive like 1000 rupees and also uh, it required uh, a good PC, now you have got PUBG PC Lite, I think you should definitely try it and uh, get your hands on it and have some practice, so yeah. Uh, that's it for this video guys, I'm Diptesh, I hope you liked it, if you like it then hit the like button, if you did not like it, hit the thumbs up button, if you have any comments and any problems you can comment down below, I'll definitely help you and uh, yeah, subscribe to my channel, help me reach 500 subscribers as soon as possible, I'm trying really hard and uh, that's it guys, I'm Diptesh, I'll see you in the next one, peace.